Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have the flip through of my Week in the Life 2019 uh, mini albums. <laughs> Sorry, I got tongue tied. Um, if you just watched the previous video, you knew that it was my setup as well as my process for doing um, this year's Week in the Life um, with all the new things. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also know in that video that I decided to use my album I did last year and it fit the contents for this year. So in this one six by eight album from Project Life, it does it does hold two years of Week in the Life for me. So that's exciting. I distinguished the two years by adding two tabs um, with the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch and I stamped it with Studio Calico um, Mega Date stamps. So 2008 18 in the front and then the 2019 uh, starts right here. You also are aware that I used my um, scrapbookingstore.com kit which featured Bow Bunny Escape to Paradise collection which is a very summery and beachy uh, you know theme which was perfect because I always do um, my week in the life or always I'm only done two years but last year I did it in a week in June and so this year was a week in June as well and I do like this um, album in itself because it just shows the drastic change in a lot of aspects of our lives including where we work our routines and then how Valentina has grown throughout the last year in that set of video, you saw how I got through all of my um, demarcations for the week. So let's just flip through and look at some of the pictures and stories that are told. So Monday is here to start it off with. Um, I And I, a lot of what I took um, as a formula was what I did last year. So last year, I did a similar picture <laughs> of my countertop in the morning. Some things have changed, but... You can just definitely tell I'm a dog mom. <laughs> I have a kid with the raisins and the carnation, and I'm still my coffee lover of my Cafe Bustello. I have a little picture of Valentina trying on our shoes that wait at the bottom of the stairs. Um, here I told the story about what my makeup counter looks like getting ready come Monday morning. I have Crayola crayons in the middle of all of my... Um, <laughs> makeup and uh, personal hygiene products, but um, some of the stickers I used said you do it one day at a time, choose to see the good stuff, boss babe, new day, same goal. Um, when I wake up Valentina, this is usually what she looks like in the morning, just just deep sleep, I'm jealous. Uh, Zoe at the top of the stairs, um, Zoe is the only dog that we have now, uh, Kobe, I had to find a new home, so I'm only a one dog mom again <laughs> but the baby gates up nowadays um to prevent valentina from falling but i made note of it because zoe gets stuck at the top of the stairs every day um and cries to be picked up to jump over and join us um valentina's favorite uh movie right now is coco i literally watch that every day in addition to moana and frozen and then this is just our morning routine um every morning when we get up we always pick her up from her crib and she enjoys her morning uh bottle while we're getting dressed around her so that's our just our morning routines tuesday and so for the rest of the week, too, you'll see a 5 by 7 uh, photo. So this is her progress shot. She is um, 19 months at this time. So I didn't print it with the 19 months, but that's always what we do for her to mark it. Um, Tuesday marked uh, always our errands, kind of our, you know, trash day and stuff. A similar photo was taken last year, but I had two dogs in the picture, and now it's only one. And then I told the story of my silly behind having to go to the DMV Tuesday morning because I never paid for my tags renewal, so it's an old tag number. And I had to turn in my lease at the end of this week, and so I had to get my car fixed, and there's a fender bender uh, dent in my right here that I also had to get fixed Tuesday morning before work, might I add. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's also, if, you, if you're a parent, if you know what Cocomelon is on YouTube, it's um, a channel that just does nursery rhyme songs and Valentina is obsessed with it. So that's on like replay when we're out and about in town. And then my afternoon slash evening walks, this is what it looks like. Again, I took this photo just because last year I had two dogs in the photo and Valentina was in a stroller at the time and now she gets pushed around in this little like buggy um, and I'm just in work clothes. <laughs> last year I did a, a distinct page on marking where we worked um, at the time because we were both associates somewhere else. If you're not aware, me and my husband are chiropractors um, and now 
you know as well, we're also we just purchased our own practice. Um, it used to be the clinic I used to work at. So now that's come full circle, the irony of it all. And so these are just our business cards. So this is Miguel's and then the back of it, we have pictures of our clinic as well as all of our services and insurances that we take. And in the front of our clinic, um, this is the front desk. So right behind that counter, there's always this open area. And every season I hot glue a new wreath with <laughs> different flowers for the season. Um, so this is just our summer one. And he, <laughs> my gal plays a lot of fantasy football. So a little statue is sitting on that up there because someone brought it by from winning last year. It's a conversation starter at the clinic and we're a very like family oriented clinic. A lot of our patients know our daughter. She joins us once in a while. So just a good thing to document as it was very different last year being associates still. And then this is the front side of mine and then the back side also still has the things. And I try to make it a shaker pocket. These are some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, it's not working out because they're all bunching here and I think I have to use the fuse tool to get that corner. Um, but that's the story of that. Wednesday. Wednesday is there's not, it's not heavy on writing. I think I just talked about um, getting the new high uh, car seat for Valentina and how I'm still with the same sitter. It's just a different exit because she moved uh, this year. And then there she is with all the other little kids that my sitter um, watches um, at her house for the day. And then that evening, um, I had a regional Color Street meeting, um, and there's my little Starbucks to get me through the night. <laughs> Um, so Color Street um, is a new company that I, it's a direct sales that I've joined actually and if you're curious that's what my fingernails are too. Color Street is um, nail strips, 100% nail polish strips that are like 80% dry um, and so you can apply them, no dry time, no smudges, no nothing. I've been a customer for about a year and now I joined the whole um, uh, stylist area <laughs> now um, in order to kind of reap the benefits because when I tried them so here's my testimony into two I tried them last year around this time probably and I was doing one finger and I was putting them on and da 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 and I thought I had enough time to get it all done before Valentina woke it did not I had to pick up the baby change your diaper and I only had finished one hand and obviously none of it smudged I was just floored by that idea that I had one hand done with my manicure and these are like an ombre uh, glitter set this is called nuclear fusion um, and the fact that my other hand was still naked but I didn't like smudge you know what I mean like if you're a mom you understand that like there's no time to just sit and let your nail polish dry anymore like you're, it's done like that ship has sailed there is no going to the salon because then I need to find a sitter for that um, so if you haven't tried Color Street, give it a try. Um, there's always a buy three, get one free pack. And there are nail art, there are solids, there are glitters, the glitter. Um, sorry for the shameless plug, but that's what I did Wednesday night is because there's a regional training. And actually all these women are close by me that sell Color Street too. So I love my little Color Street family that I'm slowly evolving into because obviously the chiro chiropractic clinic takes a lot of my time. But I'm just a true fan and and first customer like for a year because I had all my sets for a year and then I was like fine I'll join I'll do this um so that's what I did on Wednesday night um this week uh, of this week Thursday this is after work a little this was too colorful so I made it black and white she's eating some watermelon I had the little popsicles so these were ephemera from the the kit and I wrote about how, oh, this week too, she's had an awful diaper rash, which was terrible. Um, and then afternoon walks with Zoe. Zoe's aging so cute. I mean, she's turning completely gray. She's 13 years old. I mean, I just love it. And then we always play on Snapchat once in a while. So that was a little Snapchat game. And then this evening, oh, so then this is like just waist down, Miguel feeding Valentina in the high chair, and Miss Zoe is always ready for anything to fall. This is um, common. <laughs> <laughs> little thing of hers this is from Amy Tangerine and then this evening I didn't actually take a picture but I did a Facebook live for scrapbookingstore.com on Thursday night and um if you don't that's the kid I'm also using if you don't join that uh, Facebook group it's really fun and I go on there probably every other month because they always have someone else take my spot um but I taught how to do like a wreath layout that evening and it was super fun um so then I just threw this in so that I can mark it too I'm a creative don't expect me to be neat as well Totally perfect, because if you look at my craft room right now, it's a disaster. 
<laughs> uh, here's Friday, a little picture of Valentina in the tub. Mama said there'll be days like this. So this was like taken, even though she's happy, she's had the worst diaper rash this week. So this was like the third follow up to the pediatrician. Um, which she was, like I said, always in good spirits, never seemed to bother her, but it just grossed the crap out of me. If you're a mom, you also know when things don't heal and you want it to heal quicker and it still just looks all chapped and ooh, not fun for her. Um, but, you know, I took her and she was just in good spirits while we were there. That was still with the pediatrician. This was from Allie Edwards. It's up to you to see the beauty in everyday things. Then we came home and she's into coloring right now. So I, you know, did like a little timer to get that uh, photo and then I did like a little aerial view. She's into crayons and markers. I've introduced that. I just I was writing about how I hope she learns to like to color as much as I enjoyed it as a kid. Um, and then this was a little meltdown afterwards. Um, if you can see, I think I posted this on my Instagram, but she was like chill, doodling, playing with my nail polish, lost her shit, lost her shit, had a french fry. I mean, that was the span of like 15 minutes. And I, that was the story that I told underneath that like toddlers are like zero to a hundred at any given time. Um, so I was just saying how she's chilling and eating watermelon, doodling in mom's planner, playing with my nail polishes. Hence also this nail polish collection I can literally throw out now because I don't use any of them ever since I found Color Street. <laughs> So it's just funny, archaic right there. Um, but then crying, crying, crying because I had asked her to stop closing the bathroom door for like the fourth or fifth time because she came close to pinching her fingers all the time. So I scolded her and told her not, the door is not a, do a toy. That is why she cried in that moment. And then daddy came home with french fries and so she had a french fry and she was a-okay again. Hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Here we are on Saturday, so Saturday, Early in the morning, the first thing we did was turn in my lease car. I got the same car. I got a Nissan Rogue. I had it in black. Now I have it in silver. Whatever. <laughs> Selfie time it up before we go. Um, this I got from Grandma's house, this magnet board um, that she actually made. So now this is in the hallway. So I'm just showing how she plays with the magnets um, before we get going. And then when we were done with the lease, which this process took like four hours at the dealership. Like what a waste of my time. Time I'll never get back. Like getting a car in general. Everyone's gone through it probably once. Um, it's the longest freaking process ever. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Afterwards, it's the rest of our chores. So Saturday and Sundays, I always said, are to hit the reset button in our lives. So two major errands always have to get done. Food shopping and laundry. So this is us food shopping. Um, she's eating a piece of cheese that he got from the counter. Um, I, did, I think I did this picture last year too, except she was in a stroller at the time. So a lot of them I just wanted to emulate how she grew. Um, so here I am like kissing her. This is at Publix and they have like the little kitty, like it uh, looks like a, like a golf cart kind of thing. Um, how the diaper bag changes um, and things. And then this was us like just playing for the rest of the day. I could have added more play pictures, but I just left it at that and put some pattern paper. And then Sunday is just for probably laundry. I didn't take a picture of laundry, but I definitely have a little kitty pool outside. And so this is like her first in the morning because I didn't even get the swimsuit on. <laughs> we take a time out. I put Zoe in there to, ch to chill off a little bit because it's so hot here in Florida. And then I finally get the bathing suit back on her. And then this was like later on in the day. So we were just outside in our backyard all day. So, and all this stuff was used from the kit. This is all from the Bow Bunny uh, kit. And then, um, you know, bath time, she napped and probably this is just us playing in the afternoon and she enjoys sitting on her books, like almost like reading to her toy animals. I mean, how cute is that? And she has a little play kitchen in the kitchen uh, in her bedroom. So it just says relax and recharge. And then this quote says, being a perfect mom is a myth, but being a great, uh, great, a pretty great mom, uh, most of the time is actually possible. And that was someone's Instagram, but I loved it. And then that finishes it off. I didn't even put pattern paper back here, um, but that is the week right there. And so in comparison, like I said, it is nice to see just how tiny she is. I mean, I, we were food prepping last year. See what I mean about like looking back um, scrubs because we were just both associates. Well, I did take a picture of um, my desk last year. Um, you know, a little bath time. So to look, like I said, and compare, it's always really cool. So see how I told you about last year? Um, it was in her stroller. We we're still at this grocery store. Um, you know, always like two dogs. I only have one. <laughs> I was actually going to the gym last year. So that's, that's a myth. 
nowadays. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Actually, we still watch that. See how this is where the sitter used to live, but she moved, so now it's a different exit. I no longer clean. We have someone that comes to clean our house now because I just don't have time for that right now with running a business. Food making for baby. So, yeah, I like seeing the difference. You can see, like I said, about how things change. Here she is in a stroller. Um, so I love this project. If you haven't done it yet, I really encourage you to. Um, I even, look, I read a book and watched a movie, and this was our cards. Like I said, we, I documented our old jobs. I mean, like I said, I definitely try to get the comparison going on here. Um, so I love that for this. And even this, for instance, right here, her walls are bare because she's getting um, dust-induced asthma. So I had to take down anything that's a dust collector. So, yeah, I love this project. If you've done it... Um, Leave links down below or pictures that I can come and see your week in the life. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe. I know I've been a little bit um, more time in between each videos, but I'm still here. I just have limited amount of time to scrap. <laughs> Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so. That way you'll get notified whenever I do upload. And as always, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I love each and every one of you always. I hope everyone's having a good day wherever you are. And until next time. Bye.